Okay, so this course of oral communication skills is divided into four components. There would be 16 lessons all together, eight per month, and the four components are the one starting from learning. So in each of the lesson, you would learn something, you would practice it there and then, you would review it in different form of uh, assessments, and then you would be having an opportunity to extend your learning to another level. So let's see what are you going to learn. For example, we have here thematic vocabulary. So in the let's learn, you are going to learn expressions that are particular for a theme, right? This is theme-based vocabulary or expression. I'll see that uh, the expressions are in a form of chunk or phrases, not in form of words because I am using this uh, lexical approach here where we learn by chunking rather than uh, memorizing words, right? Because it helps to sustain uh, the interest of the learners as well as it would help to retain the vocabulary for a longer period of time. So I want one of you to please read out the first expression for me. Okay, starting with you. Azra, you can read it out for me. Uh, a short period of time. Should I read that? Yeah, just tell me what's the expression. Um, as she is very excited it's about uh, after having, yeah, after having so on, on a shopping demo. spree. <laughs> okay. So you can see a picture in which someone very excited to buy something. Yeah. And what is Yeah, yeah, she's holding so many bags. Um, Ershad, can you tell me the expression that is used for this? The first one or second one? Yes, the first one. Ah, the first one, the girl is feeling so cool and relaxed and she's excited that she has done the shopping and as per as you know, uh, the yeah. girls are very super excited when they do shopping. Okay, and the expression here, it's on a shopping spree. So this girl must have gone for a shopping spree, which is a shopping in which you spend small time, but you buy a lot of things, right? And you can relate it to your experiences as well. Has it ever mm -hmm. happened to you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. It happens most times. Okay. And what's the occasion? Mostly 50% off sales. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's like... particularly on Black Friday. Oh, yeah. Black Friday. Okay. Or White Friday, you can say. White right. Friday, yeah. Okay. So, uh, there are many occasions in our life when we go for shopping and we shop a lot uh, and we spend a very small time. Right. So we have a sentence here, like we went on a shopping spree. So can you come up with your own sentence for the same expression? Any one of you? Uh, your own sentence for the same expression. So instead of- we Shop went, till you drop. I shop till I drop. Okay. Okay. Uh, using uh, the same no, till I drop is a, I think, a totally different expression with a different meaning. Yeah. Uh, the sudden news of the impending lockdown sent me on a shopping spree. Oh yeah, you are connecting it to the but situation. Once That's it great. was a uh, lockdown, so there was no repeat. shops, no sales. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. the sudden news of the impending lockdown sent me on a shopping spree. Okay. Which yeah. means yeah. that I just so heard which actually happened. Sentence. Okay, okay, that's yeah. perfect. That's great. Okay, now let's move on to the second sentence. And can, can you concentrate on the picture? Asra, can you tell me? No. As, Asra, right? Can you see me? Uh, can you tell me what's happening in the picture? Are you here, Asra? Yeah. Uh, they are trying to buy something and argue the price. Okay, very good. They're trying to buy something and arguing at the price. So what's the expression for that? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Ishaq. Uh, they are bargaining the prices. Yes, they are bargaining. And for them, the expression is haggling, right? So haggling yeah. over the price. So it means many times it happened that you're not satisfied with the price and you want yeah. to get it curtailed down. So this curtailing down, yeah. decreasing the price is going to end up in an argument. And that is called haggling over the prices.
So here we have a sentence. He hated to haggle over prices. Is there anyone who is like that? Someone I think all men. Oh. All husbands. Okay. No. It's not, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you only. You want to go for the first price which the, uh, you know, the shopkeeper Okay, atters. so Ishaan Ish disagrees here. Is it so? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> lucky. Your oh. girl would be lucky then. Most of the time, I haggled myself with the shopkeepers over prices. Okay. So you are the one who would definitely. And that would be um, on any particular expression or most of the time you do that? Uh, on a particular you know, occasions. Okay. So I hope that the second expression is clear to you. So let's move on to the third one. Okay, Asra, if you're here with us, please read out the third one. Here, the expression. Partners or clean up mess his face to tidy up, please straighten the up room before you go. Okay, so uh, you can see the boy here in the picture. Is he doing the same? Is he straightening up something? Yeah, he's making up his. Clothes. I don't think so. Yeah, he's messing around. And maybe his mother he's is messing. going to straighten up the room. Right? Yeah. So yeah. straighten up yeah. actually means that you're clearing up or cleaning up a mess. And I think this quarantine period has been productively used for this purpose by most of us, isn't it? We are straightening <laughs> yeah. our cupboard, we are straightening up our room, straightening up our house. So all the things seems to be at its place by now. So one of the meaning of this expression is to straighten up means to clean up. But there are two other ways in which the same expression can be used. So, Azra, right? Z. Azra, can you uh, tell me the second way in which we can use the same expression? Um, to improve one's position. To clarify some confusion? Um, no, I'm just uh, trying to remember. It's not uh, stop slouching like that, straighten up. Tidy up or um, yeah, to be yeah. speak and span. Yes, one of the ways is the same thing which we have discussed, but we have another another way of using the same expression. Asya, can you help us in this way? What is the second way to use the same expression? I cannot hear you. You are mute. Let me unmute you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've unmuted myself. Can you want me to read out the second expression? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To clarify some confusion or misunderstanding. That means if there's some uh, confusion of some sorts between two people or two parties, to clear that confusion out might be called straightening things up. Yes. So or straightening if, things out. If people are, I mean, um, if people are having a fight or something like that, they're not on good terms. So you need to straighten up things. Either you, you do it yourself or maybe the two people are going to do it themselves. So here is a sentence. I must straighten up things between me and Sarah. So maybe there's some misunderstanding or confusion which you want to end up now and you want to resolve the matter. And there is another way we can use the same expression and we would be needing your help, Arshad, here. What is the third way to use the same expression? Yeah, yeah to improve one's posture, it starts slouching like that, straighten up. And that you, means just, that... you just yeah. straightened up, I have seen. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, so you can see, I mean, many a time. Right? Yeah. It happens while yeah. we are sitting, we slouched, especially when we are watching TV or we are so much involved in our, on our computer or PC, we, we are slouching. So one of the ways yeah. is to straighten up. It's a posture, right? To improve one's posture. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So let's move on. Uh, in the next, there are two pictures here. One of them is a straightening up the bucket. What about the second one? What is the second child doing in the picture? Yeah, making up his bed. Yes, so this is again the same thing. Straightening up the bed would also cleaning his room, make part the of same cleaning sense. rooms. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Let's move on to the last slide of learning. So, Asra, Asra, right? A Z or A S? S S. Okay. So what it is? Asra, are you there with us? So, for, yeah. So, can you tell us what's the expression and what does it mean? Okay, Asra couldn't be here. 
Okay, Irshad is the child who is always willing to offer his services. Okay, go ahead, Irshad. Yeah, when you search on something on internet uh, related to your, you know, interest, you search on uh, it on the internet. So that's what the first expression is about. Okay, yes. So we spend a lot of time on daily basis yeah. to search for different things, ideas, articles, blogs, websites. It could be teaching related or even for entertainment. So this is called yeah. surfing the browse. Uh, surfing the internet and browsing is more particular it's not that random surfing could be more random and browsing could be for any specific thing like we know what where we are going to find it and we are just uh, using that particular website for this purpose okay and the last expression is hectic azra z can you tell me okay. what it is? It's overly busy or full of activity, like so much occupied with so many tasks and, you know, she is on her toes. Okay. So we have Samira here. Samira, can you tell me the sentence for it? What would be the sentence for having a day that or a weekend full of activities? Are you here with us, Samira? Okay, we have another participant, one, two, three. I don't know the name, it's one, two, three, written. If uh, you can unmute yourself, so we would be able to hear you and you would be able to participate. Okay, let me know when you are ready for it. So a, a day could be hectic, a week could be hectic, month or a schedule. All of these things can be hectic. It means they're full of activities, our hands are full and we have Nothing yeah. else to do. We are tired. We are exhausted. Mostly, we are drained because of that. Right? Any Anyone who would like to ask something? No. That's yes. Yes. Okay. So we are so done far, with so five good. expressions. Yeah, Let's yeah. see uh, how we are going to practice the expressions that we have learned. Okay. Let's move on. Let's practice. So we have here two friends who are talking about the weekend right so, uh, I, I want these two friends here can we have these friends here who would like to talk about it who would like to talk about it should we take the turn it should be the a and b i can start okay you can start azra and who else Okay, how, um, hi, how is it going? Nishat, you can be the next participant. Sure, 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 sure. All good, how are you doing? I'm all right. How, how was your weekend? There's so much interruption. I guess somebody's mic yeah, is open. I have muted. You continue, please. Okay. Uh, um, I'm all right. How was your weekend? Yeah, pretty good. I went out with my friends on a shopping spree. We haggled over the prices to get the best rates. It's, uh, it was uh, uh, fun. What about you? Uh, nothing special, really. I made meals for my lunch and dinner, surfed the net and uh, for new movies and straightened up my room. Ah, that sounds uh, sound like a hack to do. Okay, you people are good. You can be in a movie, right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so let's move on to the next practice session. And I would be requiring two more participants for that purpose. Asya, are you here with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay. But I hope my background noise is not disturbing. Okay. We really want to be disturbed for some time. Okay. Yeah, let's... that's what I'm saying. Asking you is is my background yeah, okay. noise Go disturbing? Ahead. Go ahead. No, no, it's not. Okay. 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 So you may so start. So I would be A. And who would be B? Uh, we have more participants here. Is there anyone who would like to participate? Samira and the one who has just chipped in. Do you want to be a part of it? I can't hear you. Uh, I can't hear. Can you hear me now? Uh, I am hearing you, but I cannot hear my voice. Okay, never mind. We can hear you. That's perfect. Fine. Fine. Okay, Fine. so uh, you are coupling with Asia for this activity. There are hints already given on your right hand side. You just need to fill in the blanks with 
the hints that are given to you. You can change the form of the verbs accordingly. So, Asya, over to you. You are A. Okay. Hi. How was your weekend? It was a hectic weekend for me. I had straightened up my foot. Um, that was a mess for a long time. That's nice. You know what I did? What did you do? I surfed the internet for some interesting blogs and articles. Then I went out with my family uh, on a shopping spree. Did you haggle with the shopkeepers? Haggled over the price with the shopkeepers? No way. I'm not good at arguing for prices. Oh, that's great. Okay, that was so perfect. I couldn't find any moment of teaching here that you people are so perfect. Let me tell you. Okay. Thank so, you. Yeah. So what happened? You must have observed that I have kept all of them in present form to check whether you would identify which form of verb is to be used for this situation or not. So that is why I said I couldn't get the learning, uh, learning moment or teaching moment right now. So what happened exactly that in this situation, most of the time, some of the participants, they would use present tense because it's written as a test. So you need to understand we can, can be discussed in present tense or past tense or future tense. It depends upon the situation. As you're talking about past events, something that has happened in a specific period of time, that is why we would use past tense throughout. And for using past tense, all you have to do is to use a past form of verbs. So you can see here, there are three examples mentioned. Can you see the three examples? Yes. yes. Okay. So if I say I watch a movie, a new movie, that would be definitely present tense. And I, if I want to convert it into past, I'm just going to add what I have added. E -D, e -D. Right? E -D. In the e -D. same way, I watched and I played. In all of them, you must have seen that I have just added ED to make it past. So these nouns, uh, in, sorry, these verbs in which we just add ED to make it past, it, they are called regular verbs. Uh, so not all the verbs are regular. There are irregular verbs as well. But uh, to start off with, you may, you may begin with those verbs which are very really easy to be transformed in their past form with ED or D. Okay, so let's move on. Can you give me some examples of regular verbs in which we just add ED or D to make them past forms? Wash was there. Um, okay. Walked. Washed. Next. Cook. Cooked. Okay. Laughed. Laughed. Smiled. Right? Sheltered. Sheltered. Wow. Any other example? Yelled. Yelled. Whispered. Whispered. Very nice. Walked. Raised. Raised. Two more. Two more to make it complete. Dashed. Dashed. D-A-S-H-E. Dashed. Dashed. Yeah, it's correct. And one more. Anyone can Dispatched. Pardon? This wow, that's perfect. So you are coming up with so many verbs for which you have using ED and that's perfect. These are all regular verbs, right? And there, there is a list of another set of verbs which are all regular. So the list uh, is long and you can explore it. The more you read, the more you explore. So let's review what we have learned so far. So... Who wants to become a millionaire? Of course. Everyone. All of us. <laughs> yes, we all want to become a millionaire and we would be. So let's play this game here. So we will start with the first question. So the question is, what's the missing verb? And the statement is, the woman dashed the position of manager with in the company. What do you think is the correct answer? Oh, there is some problem, I think. Just, just, just. can you see it now? Yes. What is the correct answer? Accepted. Accepted. Second one. 
accepted. Do you all think that this is the answer? Yes, yeah, second one. Yeah. yeah. That's yes. perfect. Okay, what about this one? I dash up my relationship with my sister. Straightened up. Straightened up. Right but it is not. Are you yeah, sure about that? Is, is I straightened up is already there. Yes, yeah. yeah, straightened mm -hmm. up. I just straightened, just straightened. You sure about yeah. that? Can you sure. why why not the second option? I didn't, didn't no. We don't use no past um, ED we did as yes. This don't go together. Okay, that's yeah. perfect. That that's what I really wanted to hear. When we used it, we do not have another second form along with did. And this is another rule for past yeah. tense. Whenever we are forming a negative sentence in past simple tense, we do not use double negative. We use one helping verb that is already in second form and whatever is written or the verb which is written next to it should be in first form. So if it is did, didn't straighten, then it would be the correct option. Okay, so we are running out of time. We'll just move on to the extension time. Okay. So let's extend whatever we have done. So I can wrap it up. So what did you do last weekend? I have some hints here, but I would appreciate if you come up with some of your personalized answers. It's okay to take a few of them. Well, we stayed at home and we spent time with family. Okay, perfect. And? Cooked, ate, slept, repeat. Oh. Repeat. <laughs> that seems to be another movie, a quarantine movie, right? <laughs> the most I don't know about the movie, but that's what we actually did. Yeah, that's a reality now. Okay, Irshad, you want to say something? Yeah, first time I tried to cook something. Uh, um, that was a little messy and then I swept my floor and watched movies, watched dramas, worked on my thesis and wrote some articles and that's what I had done in my last week. Okay, that's Staying perfect. Up. Sounds like a big plan. And what about the others? Yeah, I've been doing my online courses and preparing my PPT for my next session. So it was quite fruitful. Yeah. Yes, we are also having yeah. online classes, <laughs> planning, online classes. Giving, it, giving it to them and then, the, you know, uh, doing updates on it. So we are actually quite busy at home as well. Okay. Sure. Yeah, because um, there are no eating outs, no visit to relatives, no playing sports. We are doing all uh, household chores and all that. So we are masties, we are cooks. We simultaneously. You are real <laughs> human <laughs> now. <laughs> Something, a good experience, a new experience, a whole new thing, you know? Yeah. And actually, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Reliving life, I feel, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yes, so you have already been stretching up your homes, you have been surfing internet for movies, just like you talk about it, and you have been trying to do the other stuff, which is really productive. Uh, I really want to know that why do we need weekend? Because whatever you told me right now, it was quite depressing. Yeah, it doesn't sound like we, weekend. We, um, we need weekends to recharge ourselves because we should have some break from the monotony of the workload. And we should spend some time with our family. We should have, you know, um, some quality time with our um, relatives, kids, and all that, Okay, I guess. so what about others? Well, I think it's a, a relaxation mode. We actually, uh, we feel blessed when it's actually the weekend uh, coming, uh, just it's right the corner. We are already planning for it. We are relaxing. Of course, we do sleep well as well. Then uh, family bondings are there. But this time, um, we are at home, but it does not seem like... Uh, it is a blessing, of course, but in, a, in another way. Because yeah. you're 24 seconds you are at, at home. And uh, you want to do something productive as well. So somewhat you will call it productive in another way. Right. Yeah. So, so those who haven't spoken so far... 
they are going to speak on the last one because still I cannot have the positive vibes about an ideal weekend which I'm looking forward to. So who hasn't spoken so I far? I, go there. <laughs> I wish I could go there. <laughs> Where? Here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asya, would you like to That's be there? Not, um, maybe. Depends. If there's a shopping mall nearby. Oh, there would be definitely <laughs> <laughs> underwater, <laughs> underwater water. You would be going for a shopping spree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Underwater? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for for me, if I I ask if you ask me what is an ideal weekend, I would say that the one the the time I would spend the me time that I can spend the quality me time where I can. Uh, go for shopping yes you're right this is the I think the desire of every woman and and a place which is quite calm cool serene where I cannot hear anything except for the lapping of the uh, waves that's that's something I would look forward to be alone and be happy what is there anyone who shares the same feeling or am I the yeah, same person but I, I guess that's else. not possible every weekend. <laughs> and something yeah. else which speaks in the picture to us women maybe is that we won't be cooking anymore. We'll be uh. served food. And I think that's a big plus uh. point. <laughs> After I don't know how many weeks of quarantine lockdown. Okay. So, I mean, I, I have heard so many males cooking. Right? Irshad is one of the victims. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's it. Let me talk about the course now because we For have very that. less time. So uh, in this course, I have already told you that maybe this course, you would find out the content right now, not appropriate for your proficiency level. And you may be looking forward for something of higher level or high grade. So you would be communicating your issues with me. So what I have planned here that there would be 16 sessions in two months, uh, eight each month. And in each of them, there would be thematic vocabulary and expressions shared. And you would be having many opportunities in which you would be able to enhance your English speaking skills. There would be some grammar included. Right now, I have taken the simplest form because I knew very little about the participants. Then I have already talking about thematic vocabulary because I feel that chunking is the way in which we learn the best. And then I would be giving some oral communication assignments to the participants and would be providing them the feedback. There would be study resources available for this purpose in form of handouts, notes, and PDF box. And then you would be able to get a certificate of course completion. And some of the lessons could be customized as well. You can tell me what exactly you want to have in the course. And that can be included. For example, if there is any theme that is relevant for your experience or your teaching uh, opportunity, whatever you have, you can let me know. I will just uh, compile something for you. And then I can also help you out in uh, your own, own startup projects. Because what I feel is whatever we do, it's a sort of investment, right? And that should be, I mean, doubled afterwards. So uh, if you need any help, I would be helping you out in uh, starting off your own online setup or face-to-face -face teaching setup. Or maybe if you are looking for any tips for YouTube channel, I have been doing it that uh, that's why I would be able to help you out in this process as well. And now the last thing and the most important thing. Okay, the remuneration is if you want to have uh, an individual support program that can, can be a bit expensive for you, that's 5,000. But if you want to work in groups of two or four, this would be quite less. And especially the um, group of four. So uh, you have time, you can think about it. Let me know till tomorrow, whatever you would like to have. And I would make sure that I can um, live up to your expectations regarding the course and could support you in the best possible manner. So that was all from me. If you would like to say something, if you want to ask, please do ask. Um.